In this video we're going to look at the thermal decomposition of calcium oxalate monohydrate. Okay so here's the thermal trace and this is a very well characterized and uh, well understood material for thermal decomposition and we're starting off with the calcium oxalate monohydrate and as we heat up it loses water then it loses carbon monoxide to turn into the carbonate and then finally it loses CO2 to turn into the oxide. So we have these chemical equations, these balanced chemical equations for the loss that's happening at each stage. Now if we have a 25 gram sample of calcium oxalate monohydrate the problem that's set here is that we want to work out the mass of water, carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide that will be lost as the specimen is heated. So the first thing we need to do is work out the formula weight of the calcium carbonate, the calcium oxalate monohydrate. And this works out to be 146.1 grams per mole. So if you want to pause the video and check that, you can do, because we've got the relative atomic masses of the atoms here, and then you've got the molecular formula here. So the next step is to work out the amount, and amount is mass over formula weight. So we have 25 grams divided by 146.1 and we have 0 0.1711 moles. So now we know the amount of the calcium oxalate monohydrate that we're starting off with. Now all of these reactions are one to one in their stoichiometry. So if we have one mole of the starting material, we'll have one mole of everything else being produced as we heat up and decompose that material. Or indeed, if we have 0 0.1711 moles, we'll end up with 0 0.1711 moles of everything being produced. Okay, so we can use that now to work out the mass of H2O, because we know the amount is going to be 0 0.1711 moles. We know the molecular weight of H2O. So amount times molecular weight gives us 3.08 grams. And we can repeat this process for the carbon monoxide and work out that we'll have 4.79 grams of CO being lost. And then for the third loss, we've got the CO2. And if we calculate this out, we get 7.53 grams of material being lost at that stage. So that's been a video about the thermal decomposition of calcium oxalate monohydrate.